Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another week in my life. I all of a sudden have felt the urge to vlog and I have gotten excited to vlog. And for a few weeks now, honestly, I feel like since maybe like beginning of February, I just have not wanted to vlog. I haven't enjoyed it. I've been kind of in a rut, but I've kind of gotten inspired again. And it's honestly no particular reason, no like single reason why I've gotten inspired again to vlog, but I did a Q&A with you guys yesterday on Instagram and I just loved talking to you and it made me miss vlogging and sharing my life. And I feel like while it can be pretty hard and also sometimes I don't want to share too much, I'm in this stage right now where I'm like wanting to chat, wanting to share wanting to vlog my life. Very excited to do a weekly vlog. I feel like I've, I'm like, oh my gosh, where have you guys been? It's been so long, <laughs> even though it really hasn't. Um, yeah, enjoy today's vlog. It is 9.30 and I'm about to check my email and start working because it is Monday morning, but it's off to a good morning. sponsor of the video Squarespace. If you guys don't know, I use Squarespace to Oh, my Weebloom social website is on Squarespace and my Rella social website is also on Squarespace and it's because it is the best website builder of all time. I have used different website builders in the past and while they do have some functions that I like, nothing is like Squarespace where it has literally everything I need. It has advanced analytics, it has email marketing campaigns, which I use their email marketing campaign. I can schedule on Squarespace. I can build out my email list if you are an influencer or you are a brand and you want to be one of the first users of Rella, you guys can go to my website, sign up to be notified when it goes up, and then we will notify you. And it's all stored in Squarespace, so it makes it really easy and really seamless because it's all in one place. It's super, super customizable, so whatever you want your website to look like, it can do. If you guys are looking to build a website, an online store, a portfolio, or anything like that, you guys can use my code for 10% off. It's Natalie Barbu, or you can go to squarespace.com slash Natalie Barbu and get 10% off your Squarespace order. There's millions and millions of websites already on it and I promise you, you will not regret it. Anyways, let's just get back to the vlog. Today has been a much chiller day. I haven't done too much and actually this week is just going to be much, much, much chiller week, which I am so grateful for because the past month I have just felt like I have been going nonstop every single day, every hour, every weekend and I'm just ready to kind of take a step back and relax. So I am happy that this week isn't as busy. I did have a Zoom call with another female founder um, and she and her co-founder are creating the app Herd app. You guys might have seen it on social media, probably TikTok if you guys have seen it. It is a new social media platform where they are throwing out the social scales, how they like to describe it. And it's pretty much creating social media from like a women's standpoint. And I like to think of it from the way she was describing it to me as like, uh, bumble for social media if that makes sense. It's taking into account female perspectives when they are creating this app. It's not only for females or for women. It's for everyone but they're just taking a woman-centered approach. So I am so excited for that to come out and it was just so nice relating on a like founder level. They are a tiny bit more ahead than Rella is but it was just nice talking to her and hearing her stories and like hearing, you know, meetings with investors that she's gone to versus me and like how our encounters have gone. And I just think it's a completely different thing being a female in the space of startups. Oh, Bambino came in. <laughs> it's just a completely different perspective being a female in the startup space, especially when you are trying to raise money versus being a man in the startup space. I'll talk about that more as I have more experience in it, but I've just noticed that even in the very, very short amount of time that I've been dealing with it. And then she kind of validated that. So it was just really great talking to her and, you know, hearing her perspective and her giving me advice and hearing about each other's apps. And I don't know, it was just, 
it was really cool and I want to connect more with female founders. So she has like a female founder group where it's her and six other ladies that, um, you know, have a Zoom call every single month and I'm about to join it. So I'm very happy to find that community. He is just enjoying the bed. Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. He just wants to get on you. He's so cute. Hi. You're such a good boy. Literally, he is the cutest. I love him so much. Hi, baby. morning and today like I said earlier is a very very chill week but I actually did sign up for a virtual event today and tomorrow so it is I think from female founders is what it's called yeah I think it's a um, female founders club I signed up for the virtual event for it but also on the same day there is a tech stars event and if you guys don't know I am creating an app I'm creating a startup and so we are in the process of trying to raise money for that startup and it's me and three co-founders so Techstars is an accelerator that we are applying to. Um, so they're hosting an event. So the events are on the same day. So I'm trying to pick and choose which events I wanna to go to. But the good thing about having co-founders is that they can kind of join the Techstars one and then I can join the female founders one because my co-founders are guys. So they can't join the female founders one. Okay, it's in. Thank you again for joining. not really vlog today i just was on um the virtual event and it was pretty helpful i will say i think it was um, a pretty good event so chris was so kind and they sent me a pr package so i really want to try the whitening emulsions because brooke michio uses these all the time and she swears by them so i am going to try them on it says you give it a good squeeze um apply in seconds directly on your teeth now you're ready for best results you not eat or drink for 30 minutes um i feel like i have pretty naturally white teeth i never whiten them i cannot remember the last time actually no i can i think it was a few months ago my boyfriend was whitening his teeth so he just gave me one of his like strips but like i don't religiously whiten my teeth or like i don't use any whitening products so i'm excited to try this one let's see i think i'm good I'm do my lower one but Kind of hard to talk now. <laughs> Maybe it's, no, I can talk normally. I'm doing it to myself. I'm doing it, I just like feel like there's like a layer on my teeth. chill day i watched a few little webinars from the virtual event that i was attending and then i had to film and edit a youtube video so i did that today and i am now exporting it so while i am waiting for that to export and while i have my four o'clock call it's currently 3 40 i am going to do the dishes because the sink is so overfilled my dishwasher is completely full and uh, I really just gotta make sure everything's clean. Time to go to the grocery store. I have been the chef of the house. Um, I usually honestly am the one that cooks all of the dinners, which is 
kind of funny, but I have been on such a cooking streak and I've been obsessed with cooking. So I'm about to go to the grocery store today. We are making a apricot chicken with some veggies and I'm very excited about that. The recipe is gonna be from Half Baked Harvest, which shout out to Michelle Reed because that's how I found this page and it has amazing recipes. So yeah, I'm about to go to the grocery store and make some food. <laughs> got the groceries from Whole Foods and I actually think I like shopping at Whole Foods more than Harris Teeter. I just like the experience in Whole Foods a lot better. I think Whole Foods just has better things in it and I honestly just like going there better than Harris Teeter and what I've noticed since Amazon bought Whole Foods, Whole Foods has become a lot cheaper and Harris Teeter is so expensive. Harris Teeter, if you guys don't know, is like our North Carolina supermarket. Um, and there's, they're everywhere over here and it's just so expensive. Like I spent $25 at Whole Foods just now and I got balsamic vinegar, which was expensive because it's like a specialty item, apricot preserves, chicken, basil, asparagus, all of that stuff, which like isn't the cheapest, especially the balsamic vinegar. It's only $25. I'm like, I don't think this would have been any cheaper at Harris Cedar and I like going to Whole Foods more. So I think Whole Foods is going to be my grocery store of choice when i do move to florida though it definitely will be Publix um or whole foods but i think i think it'll be Publix because i just i love Publix. good morning everyone it's thursday morning and this week has gone by slow but also very fast right now i am getting ready for a session today at 11 a.m i have a consultation if you guys don't know i used to do like one-on-one -on -one consultations where anyone can sign up and we would discuss like how to build their brand and now i only do my like recurring clients i'm not taking any new clients um and then i have Weebloom social where i'm working with businesses to for their social media and they're it's kind of like social media strategy and social media management. Um, so I have that at 11 with a recurring client. And then at one o'clock, I have a call with someone actually from NC State and they're part of the entrepreneurship program. And we're just going to discuss um, just more about, you know, what NC State offers. I know that there is an accelerator at NC State that I'm going to be applying to because it's equity free grants. So for Rella, for my startup, uh, we're applying to that. So we're just talking to him to kind of get more of an insight. It's so amazing at like the resources that colleges have. So if you guys went to college or you guys are in college, I think it would be really, really helpful for you if you're trying to do, you know, start any business, see what entrepreneurship opportunities your school has. I know NC State is one of the best in the country for that, but all schools offer amazing, amazing resources. And especially when you're a student, you get all of these things for free. Well, I guess not for free, but it's included in your tuition. Definitely take advantage of it because you literally have nothing to lose, but so much to gain. So I am actually going to just hop on the phone with him, ask him some questions. Um, and right now I'm just kind of planning for the day. I have a few things that I need to get done. Either, you know, towards either one industry or one you know, specific type, whether it be life sciences. So the brand, it doesn't actually cost the brand anything to do the influencer marketing campaign, but it is a $10 or 10% fee from the influencer, which is pretty standard in the industry. Um, just from what I know, most management takes between 15 and 20%. That's bad, right? it's coming in. Uh. And we are back again, back at Whole Foods. All right, so this is what I got at Whole Foods. We are making a Mexican dinner skirt steak tacos. It was $20, but it looked so fresh. It was like in their refrigerator section where like the guy gives it to you, you know? So very fresh. I, that's what I do think Whole Foods has better quality meat, I will say, than like Trader Joe's, for example. So I do like going there for that, even though it was pretty pricey. Got one and a half pounds of skirt steak for that. Got tortillas, corn, botija cheese, cilantro, lime, onions, three avocados, and tortilla chips. So I'm making guac, Mexican street corn, and Mexican tacos. So I am excited. Mm -hmm. 